the recent premiere of Attack on Titan Final Season Part 3 has been highly anticipated by fans, as it promises to be the most horrifying and epic installment of the series so far. And it certainly lives up to those expectations. From the start, Attack on Titan has distinguished itself from other anime series by doing away with the concept of absolution. There will be no happy ending in this world, and the show drives this point home in the very first episode of the conclusion arc. The episode begins with the rumbling, a catastrophic event where thousands of colossal titans march through the world, crushing everything and everyone in their path. People are seen scrambling for higher ground in vain, failing to keep up with the speed of the titans. The scene is chaotic and gory, and it highlights the fact that common people trying to live their everyday lives are of no consequence at all. The show has often been compared to the horrors of real-life war, particularly World War II, and this scene is reminiscent of those times. It is a harsh reminder that there is no absolution in war, and the world of Attack on Titan is no different. While the show does not deal with romance very often, this episode manages to tuck in a little romance amidst all the violence and hopelessness. Annie, who had a soft spot for Armin from the very beginning, finally gets to talk about her feelings with him as they sail to an island where they intend to board a flying boat. We see the ever-deadpan Annie blush a little, but their partnership has tragedy written all over it. The choices they've made make a happy life together very difficult to envision. Hang Zoe, who was always interested in Titans, chooses to go out doing what she loves, getting a close-up look at the gigantic Titans, and killing a few while she's at it. She goes out in a blaze of glory as she's burned to death by the steam from the colossal Titans, which gives her squad more time to fuel the flying boat and escape the rumbling. As a leader, Hang was hard-headed, intelligent, and goofy, never losing herself to the role. Before she makes her final sacrifice, Levi puts his fist on her heart, a callback to their old commander Erwin Smith, and says the words that broke every fan's heart, Shinzu Wasasajio, give your heart. Reiner, who has always struggled with the weight of killing people for the sake of a greater cause, becomes the first person to float the idea that Aaron is bearing a burden, not just taking joy in the genocide. He suggests that Aaron may want the rest of the characters to stop him. Aaron Yeager, who has always yearned for freedom, has finally realized that freedom is not possible if the rest of the world won't let Parody Island be. So he takes up the responsibility to eliminate the rest of the world. But he doesn't take away his friend's freedom to stop him. In the end, Attack on Titan shows us that the right thing to do is not always the good, kind-hearted, or just thing to do. It is a harsh reality that the characters must confront, and it is what makes the show so compelling to watch. Thanks for watching. If you already watched the episode, please let me know your thoughts in comment section and also like subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.